It is a beautiful day right now. It is uh, Wednesday, my day off. You can't really see the sun right here, but beautiful day. Day off, feeling good, got two days off. And then I work seven days straight, believe it or not, seven days straight. Um, and then I'm off maybe for two days, we'll see. So, uh, photo shoot Saturday, woke up. Woke up uh, 163, getting leaner. Watch is getting loose somehow on my wrist. Clean watch though. Um, I'm gonna kick it with the homies today, hang out with them. Buddy from, a uh, friend of mine goes to West Point and he's in from New York. So we're gonna hang, pick him up right now. Go get a haircut, uh, for the, getting all ready for the photo shoot Saturday. Um, And then, battery's dying on me, so let me switch the battery. All right, good thing I got an extra battery for moments like that. <laughs> but I'm gonna pick him up, and then I'm gonna pit, and then I'm gonna hang out with my old workout partner. He's gonna come over. Um, he's working on a different gym now, but it's cool because I just talked to him on the phone. He's been watching my videos, and he says Mark, my buddy Mark, and he was a solid workout partner. He would always uh, be consistent with everything. He's been dieting. He's getting some good results, getting lean. But we're going to hang out with him and got a few things to pick up. Diet's going to get in check within the next week. Um, a lot of simplicity in the diet. It's going to be some strict stuff. I'm really not stressing. Just ready to see the results come in. So, <clears throat> Yep. My dad's walking out to the car. I don't know why. Is that off? I'm filming. How you doing? See ya. Bye. Hold on, I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, you always leave those unlocked. No, I won't. I'll lock it. Got a new thing here. It just happened. Well, I don't. I just wiped it off. It was okay, somebody well, hit you. Have you seen where I work? They, yeah, I know. They wrecked my truck at your work. This can go in the back. And I heard about this too. Yeah, $127? Dude, keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to sell it no, 20 don't, bucks. Don't try to sell it. I'm not gonna wear it, it's a medium. It doesn't fit me. It will. No, I'm, I'm lean right now, it doesn't fit me. All right, well then yeah, bye. Bye. Hold on, you gotta relock the door, see? You gotta remember. Okay, I gotta go. Anyways, I'm gonna pick him up. Big Samoan, you're gonna see him. And uh, doing some back and biceps tonight, maybe with Kyle. Um, Kyle works till like 5:30, and he just stole my water. No, that's not mine. That's not mine. Thought he stole my water. I gotta get a new gallon too, cause mine was leaking. I was at the gym. Anyways, I'm just chalking here, losing gas. And anyways, haircut, diet, day off with Nikki. Here we go. And these have two two lines in the battery. So this is getting low too. I gotta charge when I get back. Alright guys. Talking about you bro, I'm kicking you up. We got Ammon over here, big 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 guy. Yeah. It's Tui, Samoan. We just saw a cop on the phone driving yeah, a car. Right. I was like, oh cop rolling by, we gotta play cool. And he's driving by with the looked like a white iPhone. And he's what kind of shit is that? The fuck is this? What? Safe way to get some fucking water. And Mrs. Dash, because I have no, uh, what's it called? Oh, we're running low on gas, too. Because I'm going to season my food with Mrs. Dash. I was watching that the other day, the Tahoe show, when you walked into the hotel room and you guys slammed the door with Starbucks in your hand. Heather went like, boom, and slammed the door, and I'm like, God. 
I'm a mean, bro. You should be lifting with us tonight, you mother. Why don't I have the lens on again, bro? This is Dash. You guys, we're not even old enough, bro. <laughs> we're not even old enough. Excuse me. Oh, that's why we're getting water. Simplicity meal. Uh, three, three quarters cup. Um, brown rice. Southwest Chipotle, Mrs. Dash, and some musty Snapchat man over here. Gotta, gotta, just gotta stay up. You can, like, hold, like, <laughs> you can easily just go like this, and then just fucking... That? Yeah. <laughs> and just, like, pointing at my face, though. Yo, what up? <laughs> my ab routine. Straight through. Is my face in it? Yeah, now it is. Alright, doing some abs right now. You gotta exhale when you go down. To get the six pack. Get it. Abs in the gym. I mean, kill. Abs in the kitchen. <laughs> Showing you guys what to do for my ab routines. A uh, few things. It looks pretty simple. But, um, it's what I like to do at the end of my workout. I'll just start doing some abs. And it depends on how many days a week I'll do them. Um, usually, quite often, three to five days a week. I'm going to talk it over and um, explain some more and go more in depth. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I don't know if the music's too loud in the gym. Well, gym. Gym music is pretty loud and there's always some random songs that they're playing. But um, yeah, look how it arched the back. I think I'm going to go over it. Um, in this little clip, I'll talk, I'm talking in the gym. And um, yeah, it's all about the exhale on the way down. Contract the muscles, arch the back. And, um, yeah, this is the first thing I'll, I'll usually start off my routine with. Right but... How about like arching the back and contracting the abs? You're gonna arch the back when you come down, exhale. Get the stretch when you arch the back. When you come down and exhale and squeeze. If you wanna feel the burn, don't stop when you start feeling the burn. Get that contraction, exhale when you go down. Same thing with all abdominal lifts. Yeah, you can train the abs in the gym, but if the diet's not in check, I'm not gonna see. Alright, you cut it now. That's completely true. If the diet's not in check, I mean, you can build up your abs. <clears throat> Some people genetically hold less fat in the abdominal area. Um, I could kind of see my abs through higher body fat levels. So it, some people have to get really, really lean and below, maybe below 10% or around 8% to see a good definition in the abs. But right here I'm doing hanging raises with Versa grips, things that I use on my wrist. It really helps because you can hook it on. If you have straps, it helps as well. But you can do ab straps, which are in the back, but I like to hook on something pretty quick and easy and lift the legs and exhale on the way out. Um, you'll get better at balancing the more you do it and you'll have a no sway, like you won't swing with it. Right here is for the obliques. Now, keep in mind, um, I'm not doing like a side crunch. It's a, it's like a twist. It's kind of like a two-way motion. I think if you replay it or pause it, one of these, um, one one time that I'll go down, I'll make it like a, t a double movement. So it's like a down, and then it's like a um, down, turn to your left, and then crunch down so it can squeeze onto the obliques. I go from left to right. And exhale, of course, so you can contract them. Um, a lot of misconception with obliques. A lot of people like to take a, a, a plate, like a dumbbell plate, or a bar, or like a yeah, like a dumbbell, and do side and, and lean left and right. In my opinion, the, any twisting movement is going to help bring out the obliques and help tone them up, build the muscle, and of course, the diet's going to bring it in, and it's going to bring out the definition that you work for. So right here is a machine. If you guys have it at your gym. It's kind of like what I do with the rope, but it's machine. It's a little bit more straightforward. So again, exhaling. I don't know if you can see it on my face. So I'll breathe out. Yep, right there. Breathe out on the crunch down and focus on the squeeze. So you can, um, and yeah, if you feel that burn, don't stop. I mean, I'm doing crunches when I was a kid in PE class. Um, that's one thing people do not like to feel is the burn, like the abs. Um, some people, it's just different for different exercises. Some people don't like the arm pump or I don't know a lot of people quit when they feel the pump that's the whole point of the exercise you're trying to get blood in there you're trying to exercise the muscle so keep going 
Um, I usually shoot a good number to shoot for is around 20 to 25 reps. It's something that I go by with my um, ab routine. But lately, I just it got to a point where I trained abs so much, I kind of knew what was right. For, like I would just rep it out, rep it out, feel the burn, rep it out, rep it out, and kind of like burn myself on abs. Um, that's what I would. That's like one exercise that I real I will burn out on is um any crunches or any ab training. So right there, sorry about that. Um, is actually the ab crunch, but I sit back and pull up with my hands, and it helps contract the lower abs. And I can get me to squeeze and um, contract the lower abs. So here's another thing on the incline or decline, if you will, and grabbing, kicking up, lifting your lower back off the ground. And then exhale when you when you bring the knees in towards your nose. You exhale right there, contract the abs, and try to bring it down slow. Work on the the movement up and down. That's gonna um, target the muscle and make it successful for the the exercise both ways. So this is something I don't do as much. I usually mostly do the um, hanging ones that I was showing you guys. But here's a good one for the lower abs. It's usually the thing that people struggle the most with most with is lower abs um, a lot of people can't bring them out then again that's diet nutrition um, well diet slash nutrition um, having a regimen that you follow or just logging your your calories and trying to find a way cardio it depends on how you want to lean out but it's gonna bring out your your abs and define what you have that's the whole point of me in a caloric deficit dieting down to define the, the body that you created when you were bulking and uh, vice versa, you know, it's all about the training fitness lifestyle. You want to bring in the results. You build up. It's like sculpting. Anyways, that was my ab routine. And stay tuned for more New Year's Same Mindset. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for all the support. It's amazing. Um, a little bit over 750 subscribers. So keep it going, guys. Thank you. Check it out.